possibly the biggest change we made to this. And it looks amazing. It creates a sense of height in that space, but not everything needs to be traditional. All right, let's do it. That is a nice wide entry. It just screams what the whole home is about. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> you can't take me out of our house. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. That is a nice wide entry. Yeah. That's going to have yeah. a really good feel. Because we've got that drop edge beam at the front of the house, uh, it's made the entryway really, really big. The ceiling height there is 3.3 metres. The oversized master bedroom is located at the front of the home with adjoining walk-in robe and ensuite. We've relocated a linen cupboard within the home to the entry hallway to act as a mudroom cupboard. Which essentially is a mudroom behind two doors so that when people are entering the house from the garage, there's somewhere to put shoes, school bags, whatever it might be, but that they're hidden behind doors so, you know, all that mess is hidden away. A master bedroom wouldn't be complete without an ensuite and due to its size we've kept the colours light and simple and we've included a recessed shaving cabinet for extra storage. So then we've got the uh, ensuite. Ensuite. Yep and again same, same thing in here we've got the 3.3 metre ceiling so even though it's small when you walk into this space you know it's going to feel so much bigger. So I'm so glad we managed to get those high ceilings in. We wanted something that had big impact and really screamed, I'm a cottage. So the bay window was the way to go for us, but we didn't want it to just be about the looks from the street, although street appeal is really important. What it meant on the inside is that we've been able to add some extra storage. Even though this is a relatively small facade, we have a really grand, spacious entry. It's important that when you walk through the front door of a home, you feel invited, you feel like there's plenty of light and plenty of space. So that's why we have gone with the extra wide hallway here. Um, but we've also really, really big on storage and smart storage solutions. So we've We've stolen a little bit of space out of this grand entry and hallway and incorporated a mud room. So we've got direct access with your garage, so you'll park your car, come straight through and you can hide your, your handbags, your shoes, everything behind these doors so it's going to stay looking nice, neat and tidy. We feel this could be suited to a young family and storage is really important, especially if you have some children or kids. So you really want to try and get your floor plan right and minimise wasted space. We've chosen to run the V-groove cladding in the entry vertically because it creates a sense of height in that space and by keeping it at the height we chose, it actually meant that there were no cuts involved. So it keeps down the cost of labour, which makes installing it just that little bit cheaper. This ensuite needs to serve two adults, so we've decided to make that investment and incorporate recessed shaving cabinets. If you've chosen to include a recess shaver cabinetry, you need to make these choices right at the beginning because you can see the frame is already pre-made, ready for your cabinetry to go in place. Included in your package, we've included these four basin options for you. So you can choose any of them in all of your bathrooms. I'm thinking because our vanities aren't super wide, we kind of need to stick to something that's not going to take up too much bench space. And I'm really liking the round. That'll give us more bench space on either side. And the circle or the round shape will help soften the hard surfaces in a bathroom. I agree. Let's lock in round. Perfect. Hot tip, it's really important to get your vanity bowl and bench proportions right. So make sure you measure first to allow plenty of bench space on either side. I'm really liking how the tones in these feature tiles for the master ensuite work with the floor tile that we liked. Yeah. Uh, I think it goes together really nicely and then I think we can break up those tones by putting in the the white vanity and then we've got that beautiful organic white. I really like those tones working together. They do, the gloss and the matte breaks it up um, yeah. 
it is looking like we've got a lot of white on white on mm. white but I know how we've added interest and yes. made it appealing still with yes. the floor tile. So the floor tile is actually 600 by 300 yep. laid in the herring, the herring yep. bone. And it looks amazing. Yeah. So now we can move on to your internal wall colour. So we provide you with one wall colour throughout your home as standard and one internal feature wall as well. Have you got any ideas about what you're thinking of doing? We've actually got our samples and we had taken the sample with us when we made our flooring selection. That would have made it easy. Yes, laid it all out together, make sure it all works. We've chosen cotton ball because it's nice and bright and will make the home feel light and airy. Now that we've finalised the main wall colour, we can move on to your feature wall. What are you thinking? For our master bedroom, because we've got really high ceilings, we felt we could use some colour in that room. So we have our sample here, which we really like, and the colour is called Faint Flicker. Then we're thinking of adding in a data rail and putting in a darker tone above it. That sounds great. So maybe what we do is we have a look at the data rail profiles and yes. then we can work back to the colours from there. Excellent. These are the eight options that we have for data rails. They match the skirting board profiles normally. So you've got your standards profile, which is what we would give to most of our clients for skirtings. And then yes. you do have the upgraded one, which will give you that little bit more of an impact, especially right. if it's right in the middle of the wall. I actually am leaning towards something quite simple and more modern, because we do have quite traditional elements in the home, because we want that cottage, cosy feel. But not everything needs to be traditional. So go with the wider profile for that impact Perfect. in the dark. The combination of the dado rail and the paint colours are two very cost effective ways to add a country cottage feel to the master bedroom. We're at the Hive today by Laminex and we love to come in here and have a look around. They have large sample sizes of their colours and finishes. Let's grab some timber samples um, because I am thinking we might do it in the cabinetry in the walk-in row. We have to have a break. I know, we can't do Rural Oak again. <laughs> Two houses down, we need yeah. a bit of a break from Rural Oak. Yes. Um, but I do like the lightness of the classic. Classic oak, I very nice. Don't mind the honey elm, and I like this too. All right, let's do, do it. it. Okay, I've been doing this for a long time, but even I make mistakes and I signed off for the wall lights uh, in the wrong spot, which has now meant I've had to raise a variation with the builder to have it fixed because we needed the electricians to come back. They've had to move the wall light positioning, the light switch and the power point on both sides. So we now have six holes that require patching and painting to fix it. Another key thing to get right in your bathrooms is you need to make sure that all the elements and all your heights are working together. So one of the things I, again, got wrong in this room is uh, I didn't allow enough space above my tap for the mirror. So again, I've had to raise a variation to get this fixed. So making the shaving cabinet shorter was going to be our quickest and easiest fix because it didn't mean changing the tap or plumbing. I know we normally play it safe and use a lot of white and neutral in our master bedroom bedding, but I wanted to introduce some stripes this time for that cottage feel. And I found this chunky stripe from I Love Linen. What do you think? It's beautiful. I can see why you loved it. Bathrooms can feel quite cold or clinical due to all of the hard surfaces, but a way to soften your bathroom is to introduce tones and textures through your styling, such as towels. Look, I know we could have put a really nice bench seat in that entryway, but I'm so glad that we put that cupboard in there. It looks beautiful because we painted the doors a feature colour. Yes. But it's just so practical. For a home of 27 squares, that master bedroom, I must admit, feels so spacious. 
It's so inviting, it's so grand, and I'm loving the dado rail and the paint colours that we've painted in there. It really sets the mood and the tone for the whole home. I can't believe after all these years that I managed to stuff up those wall lights in the master bedroom. I know we like to have our pendant light switches nice and close, so we don't have to get out of bed, but literally, Heather, like, behind your head, behind the bed head, okay, that's right. a little bit too close. So I must have been having a bad day that day. It's okay, we all have those days. We were working on not one, not two, but three projects at once. Yeah. We are mums of threes, we are busy, and this is... This is life, this yeah. Is life. And accidents happen, we fixed it, we got there in the end. The tiles in the ensuite, they are stunning. And I love how they balance out the old and the new yeah. with that texture. Yeah, definitely. I think we made the right choice with choosing to upgrade those tiles. And they, you're right, they add that modern element to yes. what is really a classic bathroom. Look at all these colours. I'm not sure how this is going to play out on sale day. I still back our decision. Could be a bit controversial. Which is a really practical thing to do. I can see why this is one of your favourite pieces. 